Yeah, it's Wednesday morning. I'm out here at my one of my favorite spots, East Bastion Reef, down at St. Helier's. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can get me some feed for tonight. Let's get going. So what I'm really excited about today is today I get to try out my new flat pedal kayak. So got it all rigged up, I'm gonna get it in the water and yeah, let's see how she does with fishing. I've already tested her out in the water, she's pretty stable, so now I just want to see how she operates while I got a fishing rod in my hand. I reckon it's time we get her in the water. If you're like me and you enjoy winter fishing, uh, you'll know sometimes it's a bit of a mission to, to stay warm while you're out in the water. And uh, yeah, you can wear a wetsuit and there's a couple other things you can wear, but if you go over into the water or if you get splashed, you're going to get cold, right? So the ideal thing to have is a dry suit. The only problem is they're pretty expensive. But uh, I was doing a bit of shopping uh, around AliExpress and I found something that was really cool, really affordable, and I thought I'd uh, just share it with you guys. So I uh, checked the link below. Uh, there's a link to the dry suit that I've got on AliExpress and um, yeah if, if you're interested check it out I've tried it out a few times it's, it's pretty good quality dirt cheap I think I paid 107 bucks for it that included shipping and definitely worth it First impressions, not too bad. It takes a little bit of getting used to in the beginning, especially while setting up the kayak and getting ready. Um, comfort wise, it's definitely comfortable. I'm not sitting as low as I usually sit in my, uh, my ocean kayak prowler. But um, space wise, not so bad. It didn't look like it in the beginning. But there's actually a lot of packing space. Everything that I got inside my prowler, I managed to get inside the hatch at the back and the hatch in the front. I'm sitting back and having my hands free uh, just to be able to hold the camera and uh, steer with the left hand. It's pretty easy. Um, I'm not quite sure how fast I'm going, but yeah, so it's not so bad. I'm just doing an easy paddle. I'm just sitting back and relaxing. And um, yeah, this is actually pretty cool. So far, I'm really enjoying this. Let's hope I can catch a couple of good fish to add to the experience. Another thing worth noting is well, um, I wasn't too chuffed with the two-piece paddle in the beginning. It felt a bit cheap, but looking with seeing is that I've got four flush mount rod holders in the back, <clears throat> it's actually easier to stow them uh, in the flush mounts the way I have with my rods. They're out of the way, they don't take up any space. So that's a bonus. Coming over a couple of wakes in the water, I really got to say she's a lot more stable than what I expected her to be. She's uh, she's going okay. It's quite easy, and I'm really enjoying this. One thing I do notice though, and it could just be 
due to the design of the bottom of the kayak is that uh, a little bit of wind or a little bit of push from the swells does turn her a bit so uh, you've got to keep controlling her on the rudder stick nothing worth complaining about it's still a good ride So I was hitting a bit of swells there from the ferry that came past and she doesn't feel so bad at all. Some more swells coming up. Let's see how she handles these. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Today is not as smooth and as calm as I thought it would be, but it's actually perfect because I wanted to see what she was like out in the water like this and I wanted to get a feel for her. But there's just one more test remaining and that's how she's going to handle out here on this chop with me standing up on her. So let's give that a bash. Okay, I'm standing up. It's not incredibly still. I mean, I'm, I'm managing to hold my balance. I mean, she's slightly off, I can bounce from side to side. And even if it bounces to the side, it sort of it feels like it catches. So you know what, this is okay. I mean, I, I could actually stand and fish. I don't feel unbalanced, I don't feel unsafe. I mean, she's a little unsturdy in the feet, but yeah. Yeah, overall, she's, she's definitely turning out to be a decent little kayak. Uh, but I reckon that's enough testing for now. Let's do what we came out here to do. Let's see if we can catch some fish. <laughs> Woo! Sweet ass. Okay, I was busy trolling out to the end of the reef and I got a nice little bite. The nice thing about the pedal kayak is I can just turn the rudder and turn the kayak around to face it. So that's an advantage. Uh, what is it? Uh, it's a little kawa. Oh, little kawa. Uh, I need the net for this guy. There we go. My first fish on the on the new kayak. Nice little kawa. Nice little larvae too. Hmm. I can put him over a larvae, but I think I'll just keep trolling with my little gulp bait. Oh, there you go. Nice fish. Congratulations. Hi luck, man. Cheers, buddy. Go call your friends. Kaka! 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 Like a complete douchebag, I thought I had the GoPro running and it wasn't. I caught my first snapper uh, on my pedal flap kayak, but I didn't have the GoPro running. Uh, it was about 28 centimeters, um, but I don't want to keep anything unless it's over 30. Just a pity I didn't get it on camera, but Good news is, um, I've been soft baiting all morning with no luck, but uh, there's definitely the bites picked up, but it looks like they are biting on squid. So I'm gonna get some squid on either side of the kayak and try again, and hopefully this time I can get something for the... Uh, hopefully I can get something uh, recorded. Here's a baby, but he's putting up a little bit of a fight. Oh, put up a fight. Hey, little fish here. Hello. Oh, okay. 
Okay. Well, they're definitely coming on the bite and they're enjoying the squid. But I'll tell you what. That's a nice little snaps. He's gonna go back to his mommy and swim. Honey, you lock me now. Cheers, buddy. Go call your mom and dad. Every time I reach for coffee, I get a bite. And by the time I get the coffee down and get the rod, the bait is off or the bite's gone. So, I'm gonna see if I can trick it. I pre poured pre my coffee. And now I'm gonna bait my hook and cast it out. And that way, I should be able to get to my rod a little bit quicker. So let's try that again. What I'm gonna do is, because this rod keeps getting hit every time so hard, I think I'm gonna keep this one in my hand with the coffee. So if I need to, I can just strike while I'm sipping. My GoPro uh, ran out of battery, so I'm using the phone to do this. So sorry if the quality's not so good. But um, I'm, I'm heading back in now. And uh, yeah, I gotta say, um, I'm really happy uh, not so much with the fishing because uh, I didn't really catch anything uh, I, yeah I caught I caught a, a heap of snapper that were really smashing the, the squid uh, just after lunchtime I think uh, uh, just as as the tide started going out and um, still lots of fun even though I didn't get to keep anything but I got to try out the kayak and uh, that's that was the main reason for coming out today was to test the kayak uh, to actually see what it's like um, when out having a fish and I got to tell you I'm, I'm absolutely I'm impressed it's uh it's, it's super stable on the water um, I stood up at one point quite easily even in, in the chop um, easily turned around to be able to get to the hatch at the back which is good and uh, and pedaling and moving the kayak is, is, is pretty easy and, and it's uh it's really a huge advantage when your hands are free to be able to do other stuff um, and not have to paddle. Uh, it just, it's a real game changer. And um, in addition to that, there's heaps of storage space on the kayak. I was a little bit worried about the hatches in the front and the back, but there's so much space in the front and the, and the hatch between the legs and the square hatch at the back. I didn't even use the hatch in the nose today which is actually great news, which means um, I could easily use that as a live well next time I go out. I think uh, next time I head out to Saddle Island, I'm definitely going to get some liveies before I go out there and target kingfish. Um, the rod holders, super cool. Uh, having the, the two-piece paddle in the back, very handy. Um, so the six-pound flush holders is a huge bonus, especially the two in the front. And the adjustable rod holder that I can move up and down the rail is super handy. Um, I had, uh, when I started using bait, I had my bait feeder out um, in that rod, had a couple of good hits. And um, in the morning, while I was trolling up and down between the markers here at East Bastion, it's just so easy because, you know, the moment you get a bite, I mean, if your line's out that way, what, all you do is, you just turn the rudder lever to the left, you swing the boat around, you've already got the rod in your hand, so you've already striked you got the fish on already it was easy and and so I, I mean again i caught a couple of small ones this morning while doing that but it was just so easy to do it compared to having a paddle next to you I'm not saying it's impossible um obviously it is doable uh, with a paddle and all the kayak but i just found it a lot easier so i'm quite stoked i think uh i think um this could very well become my new permanent kayak my regular one. Uh, the only thing I need now is I need a fish finder on you and um, I need a safety flag. And um, I might just play around with moving my rod holders around. I think it'll be a bit better to have a rod holder here right here next to you on the seat. Or next to the seat will be easier to retrieve the rod to be able to strike. And that's another thing as well. Um, the seat, the stadium seat. Also, absolute game changer because um, 
my butt isn't numb. Uh, my legs aren't feeling tight or dead. Uh, that you know, they're pretty stretched out, and you're using your legs as well when you're pedaling, which is great. But I was able to to sort of like get up onto my knees, sort of stretch my legs out, pick up my knees a bit, which was super comfortable and super easy. And um, yeah, it's just all around a great kayak. Just needs a couple of accessories, maybe a few saddles here and there, just to hook in your rod leashes and stuff. But I mean, that stuff's pretty easy and cheap to do yourself. Uh, nothing to stress about. So anyway, that's it from me. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry I couldn't catch any, any big fish. Or, sorry there was nothing exciting around the fishes. But um, yeah, nonetheless, great day. What a great video. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll catch up soon. Cheers guys.